Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create shadow copies of files with Task Scheduler in Windows 10. So if you want to create shadow copies of your files and revert back to an earlier time if necessary, so perhaps you have an issue down the road and you want to create a shadow copy of your files on your drive, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to be creating a shadow copy of our entire volume, so our C drive in this tutorial where Windows is installed on. If you're unsure Windows is installed on the drive letter, you can just open up File Explorer. So if you have the taskbar icon, you just open it up. Or you could type in the Start Menu Search and then select this PC on the left side. You see our local disk here and there's a little Windows icon above the hard drive. In parentheses, this will be our drive letter. So that's what we're going to be going with in today's tutorial, so the C drive. So close out of there. So you also want to make sure you have System Restore already turned on and configured. So open up the Start menu, type in System Restore. Best match, you're going to go back to Create a Restore Point. Go ahead and left click on that. Protection should be on here. Otherwise, you want to select the option to configure. So go ahead and just make sure you turn that on if it's not already on. Now that you've done that, open up the Start menu again. Type in Task Scheduler. Best match, you'll come back with Task Scheduler. Go ahead and left click on that. On the right side, you want to select Create Task. Underneath the General tab, you want to call it Create Shadow Copy of C Drive, or whatever you want, doesn't really matter, but we're just going to call the task Creek Shadow Copy of C Drive, whatever you guys are going to remember that will be triggered by the name of this, so you'll remember, oh, that's what this is called. So underneath name, you want to just make sure you name it something that you're going to easily be able to remember. You can add a description here as well if you choose to do so. Anyway, once you've named it, you want to check mark the box where it says Run with Highest Privileges. And now you want to select the Triggers tab up at the top. Select New. Give it a moment to load here. So you want to specify how often you want to create the snapshot, which will obviously depend on your own preference. So you want to do it daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you really want to do, it's fine. I'm going to just select, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select daily and recur every one day. So once you're done with that, you should be able to go ahead and left click on OK. Select the Actions tab now. Select New. Action should be Start a Program. And now underneath Program slash Script, you want to type in WMIC. And now in the Add Arguments optional, you want to make sure you type in exactly as it appears on my screen. I'll also have this in the description of the video. so for the additional arguments, or I should say add arguments box. I'm going to have this, like I said, in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it as well. And it's going to have a C in it, so it's C drive. This is where if you're using a different drive other than C for your files, this is where you're going to swap it out basically. So we have C drive. If you wanted to do a specific folder instead of the C drive, you could just show the entire folder path. Something along those lines, so you don't actually have to do it for the whole C drive. But like I said in the beginning of this video, we're going to be doing a shadow copy of our entire C volume for the purpose of this video. So now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and select OK. Select OK again to close out of the scheduler task. And now to actually create our first backup, we're going to go and scroll down a little bit here. And to create our first backup, we're going to select the task schedule library on the left side. And you can see our task is listed in here, so create shadow copy. We're going to go right click on it and then select run. And there you go, that is done. So now another benefit of doing this, so we minimize out of there and then we open up File Explorer. Let's say we went somewhere on our C drive. And let's say we wanted to restore to a previous version of one of these folders. So let me just right click on the Windows folder and then select Restore Previous Versions. You see now we have a clear backup we can restore back to. So then you can go ahead and select Open and then restore back to that previous version of Windows. So 
pretty straightforward process here, guys. Duo Buzz will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.